two 10 piece McNuggets. Welcome to Thanksgiving part two. I'm Athena and this is my assistant Ben. Hello. So today we will be trying a bunch of different foods inspired by TV shows and movies. But before we chow down on these lovely items, here's a montage of us shopping and buying and cooking. Enjoy. You're acting like you're doing something weird or wrong, <laughs> but you're not. It's the 210 piece. That's a lot of McNugs. <laughs> this isn't what we're here for, but Silly String is only $3. First, we will be starting with the infamous Szechuan sauce. You can find the links to all of these recipes in the description below. Look at Melba. Cheers. So uh, we need to clean the nugs. Cheers. Other food item for Rick and Morty is this lovely pickle, and only people with an IQ above 500 will get this joke. Yes. <laughs> Eight plumbuses out of 10. That's a good rating. I'd give it an 8.5. Lightning nachos from OKKO. Would you like to try one, Ben? I would like to try one, Athena. <laughs> <laughs> I would give this mm, six power cards out of ten. Would you say? That sounds fair to me. Reptar cereal and Reptar bar that I got courtesy of FYA. Oh, it's got like green on the inside. Oh, yeah. I'm expecting this to taste a bit minty. I would give this three stupid babies out of ten. Three out of ten? It's just a regular chocolate bar. Maybe four out of ten because it can do this. Well, see, like, it's a chocolate bar, but it's still a pretty good chocolate bar. We made the Garden of Eden burger and the One Man Yam burger. <laughs> Get your shit together, we'd start with the Garden of Eden burger. <laughs> the Garden of Eden burger from the Bob's Burgers cookbook. Bob's Boy. Are you ready for this? I'm pretty ready for this. It's a dessert slider, if you will. Sliding in to them DMs. Oh, editor? Yeah, cut that out. Hello, darkness, my We had to take five because that burger was so delicious, we had to finish it. Now, on to the one man yam burger. Ready? No. Put it in your mouth, put it in your mouth. No. You took the first bite of that. <laughs> All right. Ben, that was um, such a bad idea. I, How are we going to finish everything? <laughs> nine mustaches out of ten. I give it an, uh, is that a ten? We're going to Star Wars. Do the couple thing. It really just tastes like vanilla milkshake to me. I would give it probably seven lightsaber out of ten. I give it six of those. <laughs> so what we have here, very exciting for the KCAs, is an Athena Protakis original. <gasps> I know. Baker. But, uh, but I'm not a baker. I created this when I was younger. And basically, I mixed green food coloring with butter. And I put it on popcorn. A oh, cheers. Ben doesn't like popcorn, fun fact. I will leave my biases out of my uh, rating though. Zero out of everything. Hello, darkness, my old. So these are little Pichu heads from this cookbook. Now this was assembled through plating, so when we pick it up, the ears are going to fall off. Don't be alarmed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dink. All right. I'm a little underwhelmed by this, actually. Absolutely. The presentation <laughs> is great. I'm a little alarmed eating ahead. Four pikas out of ten. I would give this a five dismembered peaches out of ten. Oh, that's generous. Oh my gosh, on to Butterbeer from Harry Potter. Now, I had this at Universal, so if it doesn't taste like the one from Universal, I'm going to be a little upset. I actually also had this at Universal, but don't really remember how it tasted at Universal. Clink. Clink. 
This tastes exactly like the butter beer from Universal. I just froze for a second. I was going backwards in time. This is incredible. I give this nine Euro Wizard Harry's out of ten, and that's only because I'm full. Now it's time for just desserts. <laughs> so here we have Steven Universe's Cookie Cat and Snack Sushi. Interesting fun fact: we use chickpeas instead of rice. What can I do that no one else can do? This is really good. I'm underwhelmed. You don't like? Oh. We left it in the fridge too long because the, the cheese noodle didn't have that crunch that I was hoping mm. for. Rachel Ray is not sure. <laughs> These are huge! Yeah. Just for size oh reference. <laughs> what can I do this was very, very good. Wait, I forgot to take this into consideration. Eight crystal gems out of ten. I would rate it eight and a half, hashtag pink diamond when, out of ten. What does that mean? Final meal time, final meal time. I'm a goofy goober. Well, first, Look at the presentation. He's lovely. Um, second, Beautiful. I'm really, really worried about people eating toothpicks. So I'm just gonna take these out. Hey, can I have a bite? Not at all. <laughs> I'm gonna have his left eye. So Ben, what would you give this Sunday? I would give it seven of the uh, the, the Mermaid King's bald spots <laughs> out of ten. That was a good rating. Slip into that sweet, sweet food coma. <laughs> See you next week. Please be sure to like and subscribe and make sure to visit all of those links in the description for all the yummy recipes we made here today.